Hello, it's Chem Games here once again, and welcome to this new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In this video, we're going to create this on screen message system like this. When we are trying to open this door and we are standing here and we block the door, you can see you are blocking the door because we will need this system later on to show some messages about things that we can or cannot do. So, yeah, let's get started. So, first we want to go to the HUD folder, and here we want to go to the W player HUD. And on the, on the W player HUD, we want to select this interact text background, and we want to duplicate it. Now let's rename it to be on screen message BG background like this. Okay, and this text, let's rename it to be on screen message text. And we want to make sure that both of them are variables. But they should be because we copy it from here. Now let's select the on screen message background and let's anchor it to the, I will anchor it to the top, but you can also anchor it to wherever you want. I will anchor it to the top like this. Then I will set the position Y to zero and alignment here. I think I want to set this Y alignment to like minus, minus three. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's there. And now we can actually set this render opacity to one so we can see the background and we can set this text to be like, you are blocking the door. So we can just see how it looks, but we cannot, oh, we, I put it on the tooltip text. Sorry about that. I want to put it on the text under the content. Like this. Now you can see how it looks and you can compile, save and play to see how it looks in your game. So I think that's pretty good. So that will work for me. So how we can make it work the way we want. First, let's go back to the on-screen message background and let's set the render opacity back to zero. We don't have to set the text to anything. It can be like that. And then we want to create a new animation and let's call this show screen message. Let's select it and let's add a on screen message background track. It will, if you cannot see it, you want to make sure that this is selected here. Okay, now you can add it. Let's add a render opacity track. Here on the zero mark, we want to make it zero. On the point 25, we want to make it one. Uh, on the point five, I will make it point 25. So it basically is not completely hidden. And here after point 25 seconds, I will make it back to one. And here we can make it again point 25. And you can actually basically copy these, go to the next. So it basically just comes here. It has render opacity of one. After 0.25 seconds, it will have 0.25, and it will basically flash like this. And one, two, three, and here on the last, I will actually want to set it back to zero. So it will look like this. Okay, you can obviously make it look however you want, but this works for me. Now let's go to the graph. And here on the event graph, let's find some empty space under the set interaction text, for example. Let's right click and create a custom event. And let's call this set on screen text. Or yeah, I think set on screen text or set on screen message or whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's actually rename it to be set on screen 
in message. Now let's add an input here. Uh, let's call this like message or text or whatever. Let's change the type to text like this. Now what we have to do, we want to get the on-screen message text, get it, get a reference to it, and then we want to set text under the content. Okay, let's connect it to here. Let's connect the message to the text. Simple as that. After that, we want to get our animation show screen message. Let's get it to here. And from here, we want to play animation. Just like that. Now it will play every time again when you set a new message. Okay, let's compile. Let's actually save all. So what we have to do next is we want to go to the interactables folder and to the door blueprint class. Let's open it. And here on the event graph, we have this cancel movement. So what we have to do here, actually, first we have to get a reference to the player. But here on the event interact, we have already added this input player ref. Let's just move all these a little bit further, maybe like this. And let's promote this to a variable. So now we have a reference to the player. And actually, let's get these back to closer like this. And also, we have this reference uh, category. Let's move the play ref under there like that. Now, let's go under here. Let's get our play ref. And from the play ref, let's get our hot ref. And from the hot ref, we want to set screen message. Okay, let's connect it from both of these. Now the message, uh, let's actually make this, uh, let's move this a little bit further and let's add a reroute to here so it looks a little bit better. And now we can promote this message to a variable if we want. We don't necessarily have to, but yeah, and we can rename this to be Blocking door message. Okay, now when we compile, we can set it here. Let's set this to be you are blocking the door. You're blocking, you are blocking the door. And you can also make it instance editable and expose to spawn if you want to change uh, this per door but I think it should always be the same, at least for me. So yeah, now one more thing that I want to do, I want to realign these because I noticed that these are not aligned. Now they are, now it's better. So now when we compile, we save all, we go to the level and we play. And when we try to open the door, when we are blocking it, like now, you are blocking the door. You are blocking the door. Also, if I, close it and I try to open it from this side, you are blocking the door. So as you can see, everything is working like it's supposed to work. So yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you on the next one.